In this video, we'll write the balanced equation for NaHCO3 plus Hc2H3O2. This is known as sodium bicarbonate, and this is acetic acid. You might be familiar with these. This is baking soda, and this is vinegar. Most of us have taken solid baking soda, put it in some vinegar, which is an aqueous solution. It's this dissolved in water, and we get some bubbles coming off. Those bubbles, those are the CO2, and those bubbles come from this HCO3 breaking down. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one sodium, we have one hydrogen, we have one more here, and then we have these three. So we have five hydrogen atoms. Then for the carbons, we have one here and two here. So we have three carbons, oxygens three plus the two, five oxygens. On the product side of the equation, we have one sodium, hydrogens we have three plus two, that gives us five hydrogen atoms. Carbon, we have two plus this one right here. So we have three carbons. And then finally, oxygens, two plus two plus the one in water. That gives us five oxygen atoms. If you look at these numbers, you can see they're the same on both sides of the equation. So this equation is already balanced. So we had to do a lot of addition to get to this point, but it's already balanced. Where people usually have trouble balancing this equation is that they don't count up the number of hydrogen atoms correctly, or the number of carbon, or the oxygens on either side of the equation. They'll see the hydrogen here, add this one, maybe they'll skip over this hydrogen and then add these, or maybe they won't add them at all. So you have to make sure you count all of the atoms up on both sides of the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium bicarbonate plus acetic acid, and thanks for watching.